Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogging. So if you like this video, make sure you come back tomorrow for more and more and more. And today's our anniversary. And the one thing I know that always makes Sarah's heart happy is filling her nice little belly with delicious food. So today she's getting two dinners and she doesn't even know yet. Dinner one, redemption. Two impossible burgers from Burger King. Now I gotta get home. Here's me going through the drive-thru. I'm Welcome to our family time. We gotta eat what, these Whoppers now. Yeah, and I cooked burgers too, you little sneak. It was a surprise. I said in the intro that the way to your, one of the many ways to your heart is through your little belly and filling it with good food. So true. You ready for a fun night? Mm-hmm. Here we go, here it is. The Impossible Whopper, flame grilled for production. We got no, big. got no mayo on there because of mayo. You can't have mayo. There it is. Looks about as standard as you could get. Still looking like a fast food joint. Not too good for you, but we're gonna go for it. I wonder if it's gonna taste like a Whopper to you. You've never had one. It smells like a Whopper. How is it? I forget that impossible meat like really tastes like meat. Like, are you sure this is meat? I hope so. No, yeah, it looks like impossible meat. Mine does. It's good. It tastes like a fast food burger. Which is as good as right. Which is cool because it burger. is the impossible burger 2.0. It's like a different recipe than their um Standard. their original one. So I dig it. Here it is. It's skinnier than I wanted it to be, but it's your standard. Not healthy, but not too awful. Impossible Whopper. Well, they're nice lunch. Did we say, so we plan on doing with sea racers, but they're not going. Yeah, so I assumed poorly that it would just be dust. We both did. But um, it's actually 6 p.m. So I don't even think it, we would not have been able to get here, even if I picked you up. There's no way we would have been able um, to make it. And like to really, really enjoy it. So. And that was gonna be like our experience because we were gonna do like that as an experience and then we were gonna go eat sushi in Winter Park. Yeah. So. So now we're just here. We're probably gonna grab a fancy drink. Maybe sit by the water. Just kind of chill. We're still pretty full from that. But sushi. Burger. Sushi goes in all the little crevices left over in your belly. So yeah. even if you're full, you right. can still eat sushi. So we'll just chill for a little. And then we'll go to Winter Park. Yeah. Can you see? Do you see what I see? Look at the rainbow, the rainbow for our fourth anniversary. No sea racers out there, but we could always hop on one of those little boats, like one of those big boats. Rule number one of fancy drinks. If it's not in a fancy cup, not a fancy drink. But it is. It's a mocktail. It's it's my classic nojito. I got a uh, Olympic mule, mountain mule. Taste test. Delicious. You cannot have beer. You are not 21 years of age. Oh gosh, where's <laughs> where's she going? Peter's getting fancy. I got now a we can hopper. stroll. Closing out so we can stroll because if we're gonna go to the sushi place in Winter Park, we can't stay here all night, even though that's super fun. We heard clapping as this boat arrives. That can only mean one thing, and one thing only. Party. The singing boat captain of Disney World. I'm making a playlist that we'll share with you guys later. On of all of our favorite songs on Spotify. Our songs. From different periods of our relationship. And this is my Chef and Hopper, don't think it's Sarah's. Our adventure of our anniversary continues. 
Our bellies are still full, but in proper Brookhart fashion, we're gonna go have second dinner like a hobbit. We used to do this all second the time supper. in high school. Yes. Because we would watch Peter's sister after school while his parents were at work, and we would like prepare dinner, and we would have dinner there, and then we would go to my house, and my mom cooked dinner later, and so we would eat dinner again at my house. Can you hear all of the bats that are in this hut right now? I you hear them? they're stuck. They're not stuck, they got wings. They're just like plotting. I got no strings to hold me down. Da boom, 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 ba boom, boom, boom. I always feel like I can hear the train, but I just know it's not there. <sighs> That's sad. You should cut that out of the vlog. Oh no. Lord have mercy on my next 30 years. far from the winter park that we are used to. We're going to Kiko Japanese Cuisine. You ready? Yeah. It's a little zesty. It is a little but zesty. I like it. There's a boba company. Chewy Boba Company looks closed, but that would have been fun to go to. They got arcade games, DDR. Would have kicked your behind in some DDR. But here we go. Let's check this out. Look at this. Ready? Ready, ready, ready? Vegetarian options available. Oh, we got the menu going on here. We got some veg vegetable sushi roll options down there. We're thinking about getting this platter, but it all looks so delicious. There's my favorite painting over there. It's our little starter. It reminds me of like a Chicago sushi place. You're just talking like, we don't feel like we're in Florida right now. No, like but there's TV and I haven't seen the news in years. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like mesmerized by circles. I can see an exit sign. Wow, wow, wow. I love, so we both have the same thing, vegetable platter. I may ask if I'm feeling really kind of piggish. I may ask for another dragon roll. I think that's the dragon roll right there. Mm -hmm. But we got some seaweed, avocado. some avocado, some asparagus. I love ginger root over here. It all looks delicious. Sarah dished us up some soy sauce and we're gonna die. We both have the same thing so we don't have to share. I'm literally salivating. I've eaten so much food today <laughs> and I'm not running tonight. So Peter for the win. Devoured, absolutely stuffed. I have two more pieces. I, I was gonna, can't. and I thought I was gonna order another dragon roll. I know. Before we would start eating, so I think like, you're sweating. Today, I have like one drop. You did good. Success. We'll see you tomorrow! And the next day, and the next day. So, we're going to the Swish and Flick meetup tomorrow at City Walk. Harry Potter Podcast. Harry Potter Podcast. Um, Megan and Katie and Tiffany and Sarah, she surprised them. Sarah is here. Um, they're all here, but like besides that, I really don't know our plans for the weekend. Megan and Katie could very well say, let's go to Epcot. <laughs> but because they're annual pass holders now and they won't see, they won't be back for illumination. So like I could see going, just going to Epcot. But anyways, we are staying with them at the Royal Pacific Hotel. No, definitely Saturday. And potentially Sunday. Look who it is. It's a little pup. Look who it is. It's a little pup. Hi. You so happy? <gasps> you in a movie? Oh. I love you. Thank you. <gasps> Do you hear a movie? Yes. There you go, this is what we're watching. Oh yeah, happy anniversary to us. Booyah. Sarah's getting our playlist situated. If you go to Spotify, search the playlist, The Brookhart Project. Ah! Evie desperately needs water. She needs water. If we don't do it, she'll try to make a jump for it. Now you don't want it? She says I only want it for the ice cubes. There's no ice cubes in that water.
Underwater? Okay. So, the Spotify playlist, the Burka Project. Be sure to press shuffle. Because I feel like I was like remembering similar songs right in a row. So, a good shuffle up. Yeah. You'll get a variety of tunes. She's back at it. She's back at it. She thinks there's ice cubes in it, and there's not. Hey. I'll get you. Okay. Sarah's going to do the message so I can go get Eve water and then we'll sign off. But check it out on Spotify. Give it a shuffle. That is some hits from throughout our relationship. Our four year anniversary. It's also my godmother's birthday tomorrow, which is so cool because her wedding anniversary, her Australian wedding anniversary, is the same as ours. Today I shall behave as if this day is the day I will be remembered. Dr. Seuss. Hey, I'm Prison Mike, and we're here to say it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We're going to drink our ginger tea. Watch Polar Express. Go to sleep. And tomorrow is Friday, and our friends are here. We're going to go visit them at Universal, and it's going to be so great. We're going to meet it a bunch like of... It feels like Friday now. Swish and Flickers or Swishers. Put a comment down below if you've ever listened to the Swish and Flick podcast. If you haven't, go try. Just try. Just try it. It's Harry Potter stuff. If you like weird voodoo, but voodoo. But also like funny. And weird hoodoo voodoo. Check it out. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>